So we had the E Ink booth here at SID Display Week. Hello, welcome to our booth here at Display Week 2018. We're highlighting a couple different applications this year. Um, flexible displays. So we showed this to you last year. It's a foldable display that you might be using for an e-reader application or an e-note application. But now you can write on it. But now this year we have the added writing capabilities. Nice. So it, it's a um it's kind of like a six inch e-reader that opens up into like a huge 10, 13, 12 inch. So this is a 10.3 flexible display. Um, but yes, you could consider it a dual screen in a sense, except that the magic of it is it is one, no scene. Nice. And, uh, and very fast update You time. have very fast, very great uh, uh, digitizers right now on your readers, right? Yes, we do. We've had a few improvements over the last few years. Like for example right here, it's also really, really smooth to do some writing on the... If I open the notes, I forgot where it is, it's in Chinese right here. But uh, there's some really fast notes. Yeah, so this is the remarkable device here. Um, a lot of people have commented about how quick the update time is. It's also pressure sensitive, so the harder that you push, the thicker that the line becomes. Um, and the Onyx device here is also an e note. Yeah. Oops. That's another app. Yeah, I can't. We need to change it into English. Yeah, maybe go right here. And then the notes is this one. I forget you yeah. own one of these, so you play yeah. with it all the time. Yeah. But it's still confusing when it's Chinese. All right. So how is it possible that uh, the, the digitizers and the e-ink are so well integrated? There's a lot of work going into it that, It is right? a lot of work. So we spend a lot of time working with the electrical engineers, the software engineers, and optimizing the speed of both the ink, the electronics, and the hardware systems behind it. And it's nice. And it's... Try it's, uh, <laughs> one of those. And They're some fast. of these are, are really, yes. really light. Yeah, so this is also using a flexible display um, that is and 13.3 uh, but you can see it's very lightweight very durable um, it's the second generation right now no this one is yes yep. and there's uh here's a uh, music so this is a music stand it's, it's gonna revolutionize the music uh like music industry right yeah so this is also you know a device where you can highlight different sections that you want to make notations on um and the beauty of it is for a musician that's in an orchestra you know, they're really sensitive to distracting the audience, so there's no bright light that emits from it, like it's if you used an iPad in the orchestra. And it's just like paper. It's just like paper. That's the beauty awesome. of the technology. And here to show, uh, you're showing the, the most advanced color. Yeah, so this year we're showing um, advancements in our color, e-paper. So it's a very, very saturated colors, very... Like, yes. Is it as good as going into the museum? Uh, the gallery? So um, it depends on what kind of art you're talking about. Um, but our color gamut has improved over the years. We've spent a lot of time working on optimizing the pigments, optimizing the electronics and the waveform. Um, so this year we're showing three thir uh, 32 inch. And you can see they actually have a slight curve to them. So they're actually slightly bent. Um, this is and very then, small, very small bezel. Yes. Yeah, very, very small. 32 inch, like kind of like square. So the top ones are the 13.3 inches, and these in the middle are the 32s. Nice. So uh, uh, soon enough, maybe 13.3 is, uh, is this size, right? So p perhaps at some point soon, there will be like some devices that could be color. Could be, one day. Although we're certainly starting with those in the signage applications to begin with. Uh, where you'd like to have full color signage, maybe yes. advertising. Advertising, wayfinding, transportation signage, um, any of those. You know, and certainly we have shown them at CES with a variety of artwork on them. So you could imagine having a panel in your house where you got to change your artwork periodically. And uh, if we look up, there's a big e-ink up there. So Yeah, hard. so those are autonomous tiles. So last year we did an installation at the San Diego airport. This is a similar technology, but a slightly different form factor so they are solar powered they um, are autonomous they can talk to each other independent or be an independently run operation and they can update through a network or something yes. so they're on their own little Wi-Fi 
And again, no power wires are required. Yep. And you can see they're very thin and they slightly wave as things get a little bit... Uh, is it the 42 inch or what is this? It's not a problem. All right, so very long displays. And uh, up here, this is a... Uh, Creativity on display, is that your slogan? So that is what e Ink tries to enable for all of our customers, that you can put your creativity on display. Let's see your watch, you have a really cool watch. Yeah, so this is the Sony FES watch. Um, I have enough hands to take it off. But it has a variety of different patterns that you can program into it. Um, tells time, you can put designs on it. So it's been a very popular... Available in Japan? Yes. So the whole wrist the same. Band is so the whole the band will change. And you can pick the designs that you might want to have on it on a regular basis. Maybe we can put this back. Let's go, let's go over there. Sure. This is reflective. So you're comparing a newspaper. It's like the... It's slightly busy right here. So, uh, what are you talking about right here in collaboration with FlexTerra? So, these are um, OTFTs, organic TFT based displays. So, a little bit different than the traditional ones that we've had in some of the other e reader applications or e note applications. So, they are a more durable way of making the TFT so that we can have less defects in it over time. You can flex a little, you can show it flex a little. Um, I, this one yeah. I'm not allowed to touch. Okay. So. <laughs> then there's uh, one that shows all the way around here. Yeah, so this is like a bracelet application. Mm -hmm. So you can see different messaging on it. Huh? Nice. So uh, it, OTFT is so you don't need to do what kind of like what's called a silicon. Yes, so it is an alternative to that. So it is an organic based TFT instead. And so this, how soon is it going to work? How soon is it going to be available? I'm not sure of our exact commercialization product pro project timelines for it, um, but we have already been working with some customers and integrating it into some. And how, how, what is the speed for up updating? So it's, it's similar to all of our other products. And the, the view of visibility, the, the contrast, all is similar? It's all similar, yep. It's just a different... Uh, it's just a different backplane. All right. And um, this is, is it the same? This is the same as the one we were just writing on earlier. So in these little guys over here, these are shelf tags. But yep. the beauty of them are they are batteryless. So you can charge them on their little home station. And then when you take them off, there's no power being consumed, so no battery. Nice. And they get their charge when you put them back and update the image. So it's kind of like an RFID power. Is it similar yeah. to that, yes. And uh, this is uh, a flexible... Yeah, so this is the back plane that is in these devices. And so this is... Uh, uh, we're right here, we're checking some of the demos with Plastic Logic. So this is a bracelet here. You could imagine using it um, as a method of checking in for you know, a train ticket, right? You could be able to scan different items as you walk through a train yep. station um, or have a design on it. Um, they're also showing some other card products It's, here. it's playing cartoon. It's like it, animated. It is. Because you can update so fast that it's, it's good enough for cartoons, video games. You can. Um, you know, one of the beauties of E-Ink is that we only use power to change an image. So if you're going to run video on it, you lose some of your power savings that you would have if you just had it in a traditional reading application, but certainly is possible. And this is a credit card? Yes. You can see the display right in there. And there's some buttons you can click that does stuff? I do not know if this one okay. updates. Okay, that's cool. I'd love, I'd love to have that on my credit card. Yes. We need to talk with the American Express or some of the companies. It would be How great. About, uh, uh, over here, we jump in here. Hi. Uh, How are you doing? Can you show us some of those uh, products you're showing right here? So these are um, shelf labels. Yeah. Um, so with two different partners, we have several of them, but this is with Display Data. Um, and this is with JDI. So they have a long strip. Um, they sell it in the black, white, red, and black, white, yellow. Um, and this is very, um, it's very, what's it called, visible from far away in the it store. It is, yep. 
definitely attracts attention. Um, and display data has a variety of different sizes that they make available for retailers depending on what kind of signs they're looking for. <laughs> it's very red and very yellow. Yes, it is. So which part of this display can update? Like all of it? All yep. the text and everything? Yep, the entire thing can update. But so you can update it has to it be yellow down it. here and black up there? Or no. it can be... Nope, it can be whatever. It, this, these are all the same panel. Just Well, the yellows are all the same, just slightly different size. The image can be whatever you choose. All right. And here's uh, another uh, digital signage. Yeah, so this is um, a battery-powered <coughs> digital sign. Um, it's using one of our 32-inch products with a CFA on. It. So you can see it's a little bit less bright than if we go through a full color with ACEP. Are there still some colors here? Yeah. So it's using a color filter. The color filter mode, right? Which yes. is uh, the previous way you were doing colors, right? Correct. Yep. But now you have this new way, which is no color filter. Correct. Yep. Those are four pigments in each micro cup or capsule. Let's, let's walk behind it right here. This is uh, this still going on, this huge installation? Yeah, so this is just a representation of the installation at the San Diego International Airport at the Car Rental Center. I'm going to see that on Saturday. I'm yeah. going there. Excellent. So, it's, it's huge. so there's 2,100 panels across the building. Um, they're similar to the one that we saw up in the sky over there. They're solar powered, they're autonomous. Um, they're updated through a Wi-Fi network that actually is here in the trees. Whoa. So those are just literally stuck on the wall with adhesive. No power sure. at all. The trees are the Wi-Fi hotspot. Yes. These are, these are really cool, the Vision Act uh, devices. Yeah, so they've introduced a new product line that's 13 inches. Um, they call it their place and play. So again, it's similar to the Joan devices where you have a magnetic um, holder. You just slap them up on the wall. They connect with your um, scheduling system or your content management system and the images and the content will update throughout the day, whatever you choose to put on them. Nice. Let's check out one of the other smartwatches that's yeah, over here. Quality. And uh, this is available worldwide, right? Yeah, so this, this is, is a the very Epson nice. GPS ProSense watch. Very clear display. So the battery life is long? You know, it depends on how often you use the GPS, to be honest. Um, the display itself will last quite a long time, but GPS will run the battery down quite a bit. And um, so, so e-ink should be the display of choice for smartwatch makers, right? Definitely offers some clear advantages for people, depending on what they're looking to receive on their smartwatch. I think it looks clearer than my memory LCD. I would agree. So. <laughs> So I'd, I'd, I'd love to see a whole bunch more. It'd be great if uh, if this beautiful Sony watch was available worldwide and well, I it's believe very Japanese. Just buy it on their website. It's just it's a Japanese website. So. See you around. Right. And, uh, so another interesting <laughs> demo on this table is this, which is an LTS smart patch. So this is um, a method of distributing medication for individuals that gives them a display that tells them when they need to replace the patch. So this one in particular was for Parkinson's patients and often pretty they do not actually push the patch hard enough to apply it yeah. and get the medication to come through. So this will tell them push harder. Is this for cartoons? Yeah, so this is an e-manga. Um, so it's another uh, firm in Japan that's selling this. So when you buy this, you get 200 or 300, the entire series essentially is in this. The neat thing about this is they've actually made it to look like a book, but when you open it up, it's actually an e-reader. There's no more pages in that, yeah. right? Nice. And uh, this is the, the Yoda phone, this is the, Yoda the latest phone. one, right? Yes. You have the multiple displays. Yeah. Yeah. And LCD. Yeah. That's a cool case. And um, is here the. So these are some very high resolution <laughs> displays from JDI. I don't know if you can see through that. Um, so 600 ppi and 400 ppi. So demonstrating the power that you, know, you could go very high resolution with EBD. Right now, um, most the, the Kindle at the Oasis is 300 dpi, but you could see you can clearly go much higher if you would like. 600 means four times more or something, I guess. Maybe. And uh, so, so there's, this is the SID Display Week. Um, and did you see this back here? So this is a tiled, 40, four 42-inch tiled displays. Yep. Um, so it's a 
great way to increase the size of the digital signage that you're using with the tiled application. Nice, and it's small bezel. It doesn't go to black. It stays on that last inch. And uh, you got four times 42 inch. So uh, I'm sure there's a thousand people watching this video that like to have this. They'd like to implement this for all kinds of projects. Um, so it's fully mass produced, uh, fully ready? Um, we do have a partner that is selling it, yeah. You can find more information on the website. And hopefully it's affordable, somewhat affordable. But sometimes the, the, the digital signage market it doesn't matter if it costs thousands and thousands, right? Because it's... Um... Well, they often offset their costs through advertising. So they rent advertising space on them. And this is, first application is in a digital signage. Yeah. So it's not really intended for your home usage. Yeah. 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 Nice. What is the display made out of? 